Good morning learners, welcome to our today's lesson that is going to be on the topic of punctuation. Punctuation, just as we have mentioned it, I'm very sure you know its, defin its uh, definition. Uh, these are the use of all the signs. Punctuation is simply the use of standard marks. The use of standard, standard marks. And those are the marks simple like uh, a full stop is a mark. We have another standard mark that is a, a comma. We have an apostrophe that we did yesterday. We have uh, a question mark. We have an exclamation mark. And we have quotation marks. That does an opening and, and closing speech marks. So all these learners, we also have single, single, single quotation marks that are normally used. I don't know, maybe you may not know the use of this. I normally used to, to, to quote words that are not English. Like Reason Nimbalimu was teaching here and he used a word and you saw him putting, he talked about the word eater, that the arrow points at the eater. So this word here is not the actual word. So you saw him putting that. So this one can always be used to show to quote words that are not uh, the intended uh, actual English word. At times you see teachers writing uh, a proverb. Once you write a proverb line, you have to uh, quote it in a simple, in single quotation marks to show that that is a proverb. You put it in, in this quotation. No, 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 this one is only used to quote direct speech, direct words spoken by somebody as far as uh, direct and indirect speech is concerned and then this one is automatically you know how it is used and this one and this one like so i want to see learn how we are going to, to just to finish the issue of the, of the definition that we have begun punctuation is the use of standard standard marks and signs in writing in writing to separate words in sentences in sentences like the one i'm going to give you here a very simple sentence, I just want to write uh, where, where is John? Let me only say it like this. Look at this sentence, Lama. You realize that John is written in a small letter. And then W here is also a small letter. And yet these are sentences. So these are a wrong sentence. And if you want to make it right, you must realize that the, to begin, you must write a capital letter there, meaning punctuation begins there. Any sentence be begun with a small letter is a wrong sentence, meaning it's wrongly punctuated. So to make it rightly punctuated, you must begin with a, with a capital letter. And learner, you must know the difference between capital letters and small letters. Like W, capital W is normally sharp, just like a V. Double V, the way I've done it. A small letter, even if it is big, more than this, it must look round in shape. It must show that it looks different from the capital W. That is what makes the difference. The size may be bigger, but what, what makes it capital is the, the sharpness of the edges. They are done. It. So this is where is John. The word John is a proper noun, hence John was written a capital letter. And then because it's a question where, where so you come here and put a word a question mark so this sentence is said to be correct it's correctly punctuated somebody can see it and uh, and read it correctly we have several sentences here like my father's my father's name that's written my eye. father my father's name no my father's my father's name is Mr. Joseph. It's Mr. Joseph. No full stop. So this is a sentence. My father's name is Mr. Joseph. Now to begin with this, look at the beginning of the sentence. It must begin with a capital letter. So you begin writing a capital letter. And then yesterday we said something about this of apostrophe. This name belongs to this father. Hence, because it ends with an S, 
the apostrophe comes comes between because we talk of one father my father's name eh? so the apostrophe will come between apostrophe the, between r and s so you can fix the apostrophe there so my father's name is mr because this one is an abbreviation we mentioned yesterday very clearly about you writing abbreviations mr is known as mr and the first letter must be capital this letter must be capitalized and we say mr mr joseph this j should be capital to show that it is somebody's name so in abbreviation learner even mrs that m must be capital mrs mrs thomas and etc so this first letter must be capital like that so we are writing like that learner it's now accomplished it is very correct well punctuated my father's name is Mr. The under full stop must come. Lana, most of you, I'm very sure of this, assume the full stop when writing sentences, whether in your exercises in class or in your exercise books. Don't forget that a full stop, a full stop will always make a sen make a, a marks the end of a sentence. It will tell the reader or viewer that it is the end of whatever you are saying. Uh, father went home and came back. Full stop. So that full stop will, will tell the reader that that sentence is over. Another one. There will be a holiday on Monday, 1st June. There will be a holiday on Monday, on Monday, 1st, 1st June. That's how it's written. Just as we mentioned, Lana, ensure that the first one is capitalized. There will be a holiday. That one is correct. There will be a holiday on Monday. Monday, Lana, remember Monday is a proper now. All days of the week, months of the year, and etc. So Monday is, a, is capitalized like that. And then first is alright. June. So June, yes, is a small letter, you must make it in capital letter and then end with the word, the full stop. This end is also correct. Another one, how old are you? How old are you? Ask the man. How old are you? Ask the man. So look at this sentence, Lana. This one is begun with a small letter. So you make it right by first beginning that is a capital letter. And because these are, look at, this one is a, a type that, that, that we had looked before. It's called uh, indirect speech and direct speech writing. So how old are you? Ask the man. The actual word spoken by that man is this word. Hence, we must begin that page with a capital letter and open, open first. Opening speech marks and uh, remember the marking points I told you that the examiner will always do. If you have begun with a quotation mark, is the letter following it capital? So after opening, ensure the letter is capital. So, how old are you? We put a comma and then we close. A comma first, then we close after the comma. Don't put a, don't uh, close first with uh, closing speech marks and then put a comma. A comma comes before it, and then ask the man. So after the man here, you put a full stop, and it's correct. How old are you? Ask the man. Another one, where does Peter stay? Ask the doctor. That is the same. But the only thing you need to know there, because you've been told, where does Peter stay? Ask the teacher. So where must begin the writer, you, you open quote uh, marks, so speed, uh, you open, then where does Peter, Peter stay? Peter should be written in capital letter. That was his name. Peter there is a, a proper noun. Ask the teacher. So be, be, before that, before you, 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 you end, you must put a comma, and then you, end, you, 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 you put the end, the closing speech marks, and then you say, ask the teacher. Uh, another one here that is somehow challenging. Who 
inverse flash. Albert Diet. So with a splash, Albert dived into the river. So now we begin here with a capital letter. That's the way it is. With a splash, with a splash, comma, with a splash, Albert dived into the river. So this capital letter here is just used to show that Albert, Albert here is a, is a, is a, is a proper noun. And then the use of comma here that we are using is separate these sentences because with a splash, Albert dived into the river. It's very correct, just like that. Not this comma, that sentence appears incorrect. Hence, that comma must be there. Just like you use a comma normally to say talk of this. Uh, Mr. Tom, our SST teacher, came came to our class to our class today but not Sunday so now look at this sentence this is a comma here it's done in class 5 this is a comma to separate parts of the sentence or to add information about this, the, the main subject talked about so the main subject here is Mr. Tom so after Mr. Tom there's something we are adding. Our social studies teacher. This one here. So this one is an added information about Mr. Tom. Hence, to separate that added information with the main subject, we must put a word, a comma here. So Mr. Tom, comma, our SST teacher, comma, came to our class today. So before came, look at that. Before came, there's a comma. Hence, master that. Before the, before the verb in that sentence, there must be a comma to end that. The teacher, you know, we can add something there, we can talk of uh, the man dressed in a blue shirt visited our school. The man dressed in a blue shirt, or the man in a blue shirt uh, visited our school. So there, Lana, there's a comma coming there. The man, comma, we are adding more information in a blue shirt, comma, came to our, our school. Then uh, we go to maybe the last one. Number eight, number, number eight in, uh, in page 40, we talk of it's seven o'clock. We did it yesterday. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock time. Time to get up. Just like that. So now, how do we put the punctuation marks here? First of all, this is, is it used to show ownership or possession, or it is used here as a short form of it is? So now, after identification of that, like here it is used to show the short form of it is. This one is just talking that it is 7 o'clock. So don't put a post. Don't uh, avoid. If, don't, if I want to put an apostrophe there, just as I mentioned, it's with apostrophe means it's short form of it is, and then it's without apostrophe means it's used. So this one is now to show possession. Somebody is possessing something. Somebody owns something without apostrophe. So here we uh, you must put apostrophe because it's a, it's, it is, and then we must write the capital letter. So it's. 7 o'clock, time to get up. 7 o'clock, time to get up. That's what the examiner wants us to put there. So let me try, you'll try as much questions there as you can. Then go to the next exercise, where we have questions like, uh, there is milk. This one needs to be done, written down. I right, show them here. Hey, we have 
There's a meal for you. There's meal for you, Sage. Save the mother. Save the mother. I'll put it on the table. Well, this one, if you are not very keen, you are going to miss a lot of questions here. Look at the question very well and then look at, identify where the, our transitions marks are going to be. So we have the word there is. There is. In short form, of there is, drop off, there's. Apostrophe and S. Mean there is, eh? So then we're going to begin there. There's going to be a you begin the capital letter and then the apostrophe. So there is mail for you. Open speech marks. Close for you, comma, close. Say the mother. Comma again. Begin. Because that is I have. So begin you put an apostrophe here. I have. We said yesterday, I have a change to be I, and then there is an apostrophe there. So I'll put it on the table. So we open and then we close. This is what mother has spoken last. A full stop comes before the end of quotes. So this one is of double quotation marks. So there is milk for you. Say the mother, comma. I'll put it on the table. So mother is continuing to speak. Here this is a comma that because mother is resting. After talking to her, say the mother. Then mother is continuing to speak all this. There's milk for you. Where is the milk? The milk is put on the wall, on the table. Then the second one, Hura. Hura is used here. And these are some of the words, the interjections where we use them, where we apply the use of exclamation mark. You know them. And talk of Hura. Bravo and the rest. So here we have Hura. Hura. I've been invited. I've been invited for for James. For James. Twenty first birthday. Birthday party. So we also have to get this. Hura here should be done with small capital letters. So begin from there. Here we place capital H. Then after Hura immediately there should be there should be this one called an exclamation mark. I done it a big I done a big one to make you see it clearly, to make you to see it clearly. So Hura, then this is I of a pronoun. Here is written a small letter, and I'm rectified that. If that's the I for a pronoun, I have, you must write it in a capital letter. They have written it. Uh, 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 an apostrophe and VE. So, Hura, I've been invited for James. You must write that. James. And that party belongs to James. Let's talk about I've been invited, I've been invited uh, for Susan's 24th birthday. That Susan, the word Susan is like this. Susan's. So you put a apostrophe between N and S. Eh? But here, yeah, because it's now James, don't leave it like that. The apostrophe must come after James. Say, it matters for James 21st. This is very correct. 21st, you must put a hyphen there. 21st birthday party. Why do you put an apostrophe between 21st, lamb? Between 20 and 1st? Because these are now, and these are now. When double nouns are used in that manner, there must be an, a small dash called a knife in, to show that this one is a double noun. So that is correct like that, but and there's some of the full stop. But yeah. so Hura, I've been invited for James 21st, 21st birthday party. Then last one, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to read it. I'm tired, said Lucy. I've had an awful day. But the word I must be used there. In fact, there's a bit like this. I am. So you must rectify that by putting a capital I and put this arm. 
I am, there must be a hyphen there to say. I'm tired. Short form of I am is am with a, with a, with a hyphen. Don't don't draw women with an apostrophe, not a hyphen. With an apostrophe there. So we say I'm tired. We put that. I'm tired. We put that. Say Lucy, comma, have a hard and awful day. So there are going to be two there. Just like we did the first one. Let me just write it down. I'm tired. Said Lucy. I'm tired. An awful day. So now I look at it very clearly. I say just say that I am. We don't write like this, but when you sh we now put this in short, we we'll talk of am in the capital letter, am like that. And that's what we are being told, right? I'm tired. So we we put all this, put all that. But before we end, we must put a comma. So I'm tired, comma, and we put said Lucy. Lucy, I'm as somebody's name was written in doctor letter. Said Lucy, and another comma, because he has finished to stop to stop. Then we put a word. Don't put a full stop here because this sentence is still continuous. Eh? So we put a comma and then we open another one because it is continuous to, to, to speak here. Then it's continuous to speak, say, now, I capital and another apostrophe to show that the short form of I have. So I've had an awful day. It ends there, then we want to put at a full stop here. Quotation mark, the, the end of quotation marks. So now we have a lot of work here to try. We have a lot. I think a few are I can end it there. That explanation. And now we have exercises. Exercise 34. And exercise. 35. All these are in page, in page 40 and 41. So there are a lot of work like that number, exercise 34, has 20 questions. And before I just gave, went to the other exercise, I did almost five of them. So it will remain with the rest to try, just try all of them. And then come to exercise 35. But I've also done number one, two, three. Maybe room four. Good morning. Hello, friend. Is it fellow? Good morning. Hello, friend. How are you? So just begin the good, good morning. It began with a, with, a, with, a, with a small letter. You begin good morning. And then you enclose all that. You enclose if somebody speaking. Good morning. Enclose that in a quotation mark. Comma. Hello friend, how are you? So you also quote the remaining part because somebody is still continuing to speak. Good morning, or oh, can just put a comma. Good morning, comma. Hello friend, how are you doing? That is just somebody who has spoken about that. So you, you quote beginning the, the capital letter and continue. Then number five, Alice did Alice, did you see my keys as father? No, I didn't. She said. So it's a bit complex again. Alice is written in small letter, and what must begin the word Alice does with a capital letter. Alice, comma. You are calling Alice. Alice, comma. You first open. Open and begin Alice. Alice, did you see my keys? Comma. End the quotes. And then ask further. Come again, open. No, I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't, she said. So I didn't. No, I didn't, comma, she said. So all these things are put in here. Did you see my keys, comma, as father? I'm going to watch you, what Alice is going to say, comma. Then quote again, I didn't. That is another word spoken by another person. Quote that, then end, she said, out of the quotation marks. So now you can try the rest. That are there. 
Row number 6 to 16. Try all that work. Do them well. And then uh, after doing the work, you'll get the answer that will help you to mark your work and see if you got them right. So until next time, I wish you well. You remain very busy during this uh, time, this trying time that we have in our country. Thank you.